let us continue with the bridge course of physics hello my dear students in this video we will learn about a trigonometry particularly a uh, basic things we needed for a physics so anyhow you will learn detail in mathematics but what are the basic things we need for a physics that things we will see now so that is particularly under in a trigonometry basic mathematics for a physics in that let us see one by one that is angle how to calculate take the angle so that things we have to learn and measurement of an angle how to measure the angle let us see how to measure the angle also and relation between radian and degree so once you measure the angle either you have to measure the angle in terms of degree or radian so sometimes what happens in our physics the conversion is very important one system of units to another system of units so for that purpose here relation between radian and degree are very important once we know the relation between the radian and degree it is easy to convert from a radian to degree or degree to radian like that one system of units to another system of units and next it is trigonometric ratios i hope you all learned already this trigonometric ratios once again you just recall that trigonometric ratios that is sin theta cos theta tan theta that things next a trigonometric ratios of standard angles trigonometric ratios of standard angles that is also an important trigonometric ratios of standard angle i hope you already know this things and all just we just recall that concept so mainly uh, sin 30 is equals to what and cos 60 is equals to what sin 45 value so for that purpose we'll see this trigonometric ratios of standard angle as well as the trigonometric ratios for allied angles means other than the standard angles things we have to see as well as just recall the formulas recall the formulas standard formulas in trigonometry i hope clear so these things let us see one by one now let us see about a angle how to take an angle just consider a fixed straight line consider a fixed straight line i'll named as a ox fixed straight line ox and another line another line oa which is coincides with the same fixed line coincide with the same fixed line at a position o so this is oa here oa is consider as a revolving line oa is considered as a revolving line and the angle is just like angle measured is the oa this revolving line how much amount of this revolving line is revolution revolution from the initial position to that final position i hope you are getting my point just like this this is a fixed line initially you just imagine oa is coincides with the ox now i am revolving this oa revolving line in an anti clockwise direction in an anti clockwise direction so how much amount of revol revolving line revolved how much amount of revolving line revolved in a anti clockwise direction that is taken as an angle and represented with the theta so here theta is the angle so a o x theta is represented by an angle that is angle a o x and one thing keep it in your mind if the angle is measured if the angle is taken in an anti clockwise direction then the angle is positive 
for example assumption that this is 30 degree so that is plus 30 degree because we are measured in an anti clockwise direction if you measured in a clockwise direction if you measured in a clockwise direction it is taken as negative if you taken as negative so if a positive when it will be positive angle if we took anti clockwise direction the revolution of revolving line means revolving line oa it is taken in an anti clockwise direction then it is positive and negative when angle is taken as negative if it measured in a clockwise direction in a clockwise direction for example here theta aox is a positive because we took in an anti clockwise direction and here theta dash the same theta dash is taken as negative because which is in a clockwise direction i hope it's clear so if you are taken in an anti clockwise direction that is positive and clockwise direction consider as a negative so here we already know how to measure this angle that is measurements of angle how to measure this angle usually you already know this theta for example you are taken like this theta is equals to 90 degree theta is equals to 60 degree theta is equals to 30 degree that means you are measure the angle in a degree usually commonly you are taken theta is measured in a degree i hope it's clear as well as for example the right angle so which one is we can call it as a right angle right angle which one is taken as a right angle that is when we can take a right angle the angle between just like o x a is same if i took if an angle between a o and o x the line so this angle a o x is equals to 90 degree so important is here the unit important is unit when we can call it as this angle is right angle if the value is 90 degree so here this measurement of an angle is very important so in a physics any physical quantity is there means we have to represent that physical quantity with a magnitude and its unit with a magnitude and its unit then only it is meaningful for example the what is your weight or what is your height if i can say that 50 there is no meaningful if i say that 50 kg it is meaningful the weight is 50 kg okay it's meaningful similar way the height is 120 what 120 so it is meaningful when if you are express that quantity with the magnitude as well as its unit for example 120 centimeter now it is meaningful oh so it is related to that length and 50 kg it is related to that mass similar way when it is meaningful if i express with a unit so 90 degree that is right angle i hope it's clear the measurement of angle is very important usually we are measure the angle in degree commonly we are measure the angle in degree but in physics we have an another unit for a measuring the angle so that is a radian we already mentioned that is a radian radian is another unit for a measurement of an angle 
that is particularly in a circular angle measurement of the circular angle circular measurement for a circular measurement we are using the radian cases so later we will see the relation between these two degree and radian before that we have to see some other smaller unit for an angle also that is just like degree is measured like this that is 1 degree you can write it as 1 degree but some other smaller unit also there that is 1 degree is equals to the smaller unit is 1 degree is equals to 60 minute will be represented like this 60 minute that is 60 minute I hope it's clear similar way similar to the clock similar to the time measurement likewise here also the angle is 1 degree is the usually the bigger if you compare to the minute the degree is bigger for a smaller measurement of an angle we go for a minute that is 60 minute 1 degree is nothing but 60 minute similar way if I can say that 1 minute if I convert 1 minute so 1 minute in terms of its another smaller unit that is second so 1 minute equals to 60 second which will be represented like this 60 double bar so 60 second I hope it's clear so this is the conversion from a higher unit of angle higher measurement of angle to the smaller measurement of this angle so one degree is taken as 60 minute keep it in your mind it is denoted like this we need these concepts in a second chapter units and measurements so one minute is equals to 60 seconds i hope it's clear now you will do yourself i'll give the work for you that is homework you just take it as an homework that is you have to convert reverse way that is one second conversion you have to convert from one second is equals to dash minute one second is equals to dash minute you have to convert this one second is equals to dash minute the same way one second is equals to dash degree one second is equals to dash degree so these two are taken as a homework yourself you have to convert because you already know one degree is equals to 60 minute and one minute is equals to 60 second the same way the my question is one second is equals to how many minute and one second is equals to how many degree so yourself you have to convert so this is about an angle and measurements of an angle some other units and also conversion from the higher value of units to smaller value of units let us continue in the next session